Hi there and welcome to another Higher Maths tutorial video. Today we'll be continuing with logarithms and we'll be starting from where we left off which is now question 4. So, find x if 4 log to the base x of 6 take away 2 log to the base x of 4 equals 1. So let me just copy that question down so we can go ahead and, 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 and do it. So, so this is find x of 4 log to the base x of 6 take away 2 log to the base x of 4 and I've been told that equals 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got a rule where I can take the coefficient and put it up here, <coughs> pardon me, and write it as a, an exponential of power. So that would become log to the base x of 6 to the power of this 4 and I would do likewise here. So this would be log to the base x of 4 squared. And that's a rule of logarithm, so let's go ahead and do that. So log to the base x of 6 to the 4, take away log to the base x of 4 squared, and that equals the 1 here. And now because I have a subtract, I can use one of my earlier rules and rewrite that as log to the base x of 6 to the power of 4 over 4 squared, and that equals one and uh, if you pop this into the calculator you'll see that that works out to be log to the base x of 81 and that equals one and what we're saying here is <coughs> x to the power of one equals 81 six to the power of one equals 81 hence x must therefore be 81 and it's as simple as that let's do another one okay so here we're being asked to find the x coordinate of a point of intersection or of a point with a graph with uh, this equation intersects the x-axis. Now if a graph is intersecting the x-axis effectively the y-coordinate has to be zero because that's a prerequisite for it to to cross the x-axis. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to copy this equation down, set it equal to zero and solve it from there. So what do we have here? So we have y equals, whoops, log to the base 3, x take away 2, plus 1. And it's intersecting the x-axis, so y equals 0. <coughs> so 0 equals log to the base 3, x take away 2, plus 1. So what I'm going to do is take this one and bring it over, make it a negative 1. So negative 1 equals log to the base 3 of x take away 2. Now a lot of people get to this stage and they're not too sure what to do because you can't exactly pop that into the calculator. The x is inside the bracket, you have a logarithm outside with a, a base that people aren't usually comfortable with seeing. So what do we do? Well it's very simple, we just simply rewrite it as 3 to the power of negative 1 equals x take away 2. And that's an easy way to get rid of the, the logarithm itself. So it's 3 to the negative 1 equals x take away 2. <clears throat> now from indice rules, uh, from intermediate 2, you know that 3 to the negative 1 is simply rewritten as 1 over 3 or a third and that equals x take away 2. <clears throat> take the negative 2 over becomes a plus 2, so it's 2 plus a third equals x and if you want you can rewrite it as 7 thirds uh, to the side. Either or would be perfectly acceptable. Okay, thanks very much for that. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will be putting a lot more log videos out and circles and integration. Um, if there's anything you wish to see, by all means, please leave a comment below. It'll be greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.